Hi, welcome to Primetime Pickleball. My name is Jordan Briones, and in this video, we're going to go over some tips that I'm going to give you that's going to help you stay in the point longer and in turn will help you win more points. Without any further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so in this video, I'm going to give you three tips on how to defend well when you're on the defense. But before that, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell icon so that you can be notified anytime we release any videos, okay? So without any further ado, here we go. Let's jump to tip number one. All right, so before we get started in that, I'm going to give you the scenario. Maybe you are headed from the baseline to the non-volley zone and you are transitioning, working your way uh, to the net, or maybe you and your partner are at the net and all four players are at the net, you guys are volleying, and maybe one of you have popped up a ball, and now you are on the defense. Your opponents have a ball that they can hit down on at your feet, which they should do, and in this video, I'm going to give you three tips uh, on that and how to defend that well to keep you in the point so that you can stay in it and win more points. All right, so the first tip I have for you is to stand your ground. When you or your partner pops up a ball, and you know that they could hit down at your feet on it, one thing you need to do is just stay calm and relaxed and you need to make sure you get low and stay low. And another thing you need to do is drop your paddle down immediately, okay? So a lot of people, their ready position is maybe up here like this, like so, and you know, if the player is doing the right thing, they have a downward trajectory on that ball, they wanna hit it at your feet. One preparation tip uh, that I have for you is to drop your paddle down uh, to where they will be hitting, okay? Whether it's um, on your backhand side or on your forehand side, um, I like to preferably kinda, kinda um, cheat on my backhand a little bit just cause I know that I could block a lot more. But the main thing is you wanna drop your paddle down, get low and stay low and stand your ground, okay? You're gonna dig a lot more balls out like this. All right, so the second tip I have for you, after you get in position, you're low, you're, you're staying low, you have your paddle down, is to, if you have time, to, to retreat and kind of back up a bit and then come to a split step so that you can be ready to go. And one thing that is super important, um, let's say you see the ball pop up, you could come back even a step or two and that little extra time, uh, your reaction time, you're gonna gain a lot of reaction time every foot or two that you move back, okay? Now, one thing you don't want to do is while you're backing up, they're hitting the ball and the ball's right here and then now you're hitting and backing up at the same time. You're not going to have control of that, okay? If you do foresee that ball um, and you know it's popped up, go ahead and you can take a step back or two and then come to this um, split step, okay? So I'm gonna be here, maybe I see my opponent and he's kind of off balance hitting the ball. I could come back a, a couple of steps and hit the split step and then I could just be ready to defend because I know that next ball is going to be tough. So make sure you, that you are stationary, not moving. And if you have some time, go ahead and take that step or two back and that's going to give you more reaction time to get that ball over. All right, so the third and final tip that I have for you guys is to make sure that you are not trying to hit an aggressive ball, okay? Our whole goal here is when we are on the defense is to block and stay in the point, okay? When your opponent has that popped up ball, you know that they're going to try to put that ball away at your feet. You wanna brace, brace yourself, stand your ground, put your paddle down, and you we are just trying to block the ball, preferably in the kitchen, so that they can, to force that, force their contact point 
to be low instead of high. Okay, when they're on the offense, their goal is to keep hitting at your feet and get a higher and higher contact point so that they can really put the ball away. Okay, if we could get just one block um, over, over the net and into the kitchen, it doesn't even have to land in it. If we could just force them to hit, have a lower contact point, that next ball is going to be easy, easier for us to handle. Okay, so remember, when you're on the defense, we are not in attack mode. We're just trying to block the ball. Hopefully, to block it up and over, force them to have a low contact point, and then uh, hopefully me and my partner could then regain the net position. All right, so I hope those three tips really helped you and they can help you in your games when you're defending, playing defense, and it keeps you in points longer. Remember, each ball we hit over and we can stay in the point, it's going to put more pressure on our opponents and we're going to win more points and win more matches. So if you have any questions, drop the questions below and we'll, we will do our best to answer them. And again, if you're not subscribed to this channel, Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching us in this video, and we'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thanks so much for watching. For more free video lessons, please visit primetimepickleball.com. But before you head on over there, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, for primetime pickleball shirts like this and other great apparel, please visit ptpgear.com.